Hey there, welcome to 20 Minutes or Less. My name is Joe Beretta. And I'm Steve Zaragoza. Beard off, go! <laughs> Nature is cool. Yeah. The tiniest fly in the world was just discovered in Thailand and it is smaller than a grain of salt. It's so tiny that if a human sneezed next to it, the sneeze would go down in tiny fly lore as the great sneeze of 2012. With its super cute tiny gray wings, you might think, hey, this thing is a... Uh, Kind of adorable, you know? And yeah, sure, that might be the case if it wasn't a parasitic abomination that lays its babies inside unsuspecting ants where those babies grow up into a nice ripe age where they exit the ant through decapitation. The murderer is the first of its kind in Asia and its egg dispenser is a pointed organ the fly uses to dispense its offspring into hardworking ant bodies. As said prior, the fly was recently discovered so said decapitation is yet to be witnessed by human eyes but it's closely related to another species that utilizes ants as hatcheries. Researchers named the new fly insert name here and it is is related to the anti-ant genus, insert name here. After these fly babies grow inside of a poor ant, they migrate up to the ant head and go smorgas boring on massive muscles in the ant jaw area and brains in the head place. The tiny Jeff Goldblums then eat the membrane connecting the head to the body and it falls off. And then they use the head as a home until it's big enough to skedaddle. Kinda like a hermit crab in a shell, but also not like that at all. Oh my god. And I tell you what, ants have it hard. Yeah, they do. Sure, they're part of the extended ant families that number into the billions, but they've got all these crazy parasites and stuff constantly wrecking havoc on their tiny ant bodies. Lifting 50 times your weight doesn't mean bunk if you're getting decapitated by a microscopic Jason Voorhees fly thing laying babies in your body. Yeah, don't get us wrong here. We're not staunch ant advocates here by any means. But as far as messed up stuff goes, ants reign supreme. So you gotta feel for them a little bit. And on top of this new fly, they also gotta deal with this crazy zombie fungus. The fungus, insert name here, infiltrates carpenter ants and turns them all George Romero. The ants lose control of their bodies and the fungus directs them to hang upside down over the rainforest floor. Then, they die. Then, a freaking fungus stalk forces itself out of the ant's head and it just hangs there, out of a gaping ant opening, sprinkling spores down into other unsuspecting ants. It's terrifying. But in a frightening turn of events for everyone on the planet, the ants are fighting back. Have you ever heard of super soldier ants? These guys were scientifically brought back from the ancestral brink. Why would anybody do this? Yeah, look at them. It's stupid. All you're doing is creating a bigger head for decapitation and fungi sporage. And they're scary. Nature's cool. And terrifying. Yeah. So this tiny fly is pretty scary and amazing. What is a weird fact you guys know about nature? Let us know in the comments down below. And then let us know that you like us by clicking the like button and if you want to get more of us click the subscribe button if you want to get more right now today hit this annotation and it'll take you the five stories of today and all the other stuff we did in the past we've done so much stuff in the past too so you should probably hit it my name is joe beretta and i'm steve zaragoza finish off the beard off <laughs>